was quite the trip. Oh, quite a trip indeed. I mean, it started off with you and Brianna coming over from England to New York to meet me, and then Marlene, she comes all the way to New York from Arizona. We then get on an airplane, we change planes three times, we take the train into town where we then have to haul our bags all the way from the station. Yes, quite a trip. <laughs> Brother dear, when you put it that way, no wonder my feet are hollering. Hollering, Aunt Marlene. <laughs> Honestly. Are you sure you're not from Arkansas? Really, Marlene, and you're a school teacher. <gasps> well, they are hollering! <gasps> what? What? What is that? Hello. Might I presume you are the Bentleys? Well, yes. Yes, we are the Bentleys. We have inherited our great uncle's bed and breakfast. And might I ask, young man, who are you? Yes, ma'am. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Creepy Del Cristo. Oh. Um, well, Creepy Del Cristo, um, what exactly are you doing in our house? Uh, I suppose they did not mention me in the will. Well, sir, I am your butler. Our butler? We... we have a butler? <laughs> yeah, what, what she said. <laughs> in answer to your question, yes. But there is more than myself. Allow me to introduce you to our upstairs maid. an upstairs maid? Oh, this is sounding more promising all the time. Indeed. Ooh. Hello, it's nice to meet you. Certainly. <laughs> wow, I've never seen an upstairs maid before. Oh, sister, you've never seen a butler before either. Oh. Honestly. Now, what might your name be, my dear? Yes, sir. Her name is Josette Johnson. If there's anything that you might need, please let me know. Oh, well, you could show us to our room so that we could freshen up and, and unpack, oh, please. Yes, Mom. Your rooms are ready. Please follow me. I suppose you want help? With these bags, um, why? Yes, that would be that would be wonderful. Thank you, Mr. Del Cristo. Uh, 
Or shall I call you creepy? It doesn't matter. I'll say, Alfie, they now even mentioned us. I don't know why. Hmm, they don't even know we're here, you know. Oh, why me? But they're gone too. Yeah. Very soon, I we feel. We should make a show. Oh, we will. Hmm. something a little odd about him. <clears throat> Might I ask the Bentleys a question? Well, of course you can, Creepy. Go ahead. Why is it that two of you speak in American accents and two of you speak in English accents? Well, actually, that's very easy to explain, Creepy. You see, Marlene and I, we were raised here in the United States by our mother. And I lived with my father in England. He was the oldest brother of Charles and Uncle Alfie. Both of whom, unfortunately, we never even got to meet. So you can understand our complete surprise, having not met either of them, that we were notified of our inheritance of this estate. I mean, Uncle Charlie didn't know me from Adam. And you keep calling us Bentleys. I lost my husband, but Brianna's in my last name. Is living stone. Living stone. <laughs> living stone. Living stone. Yes. So sorry for the presumption. Uh, please forgive me. Well, creepy Del Cristo. You're forgiven. And creepy, might I ask you a question? Of course, ma'am. How is it that you came to work for our late Uncle Charles at this estate? Your uncle found me on the south side of Transylvania. Yes. He found me and he took me in and he made me his butler. And uh, between you and me, I am a little bit off. We've noticed. <laughs> We've noticed. <laughs> Josette. Hello. You seem quite up in atom at a very early hour. Oh yes, Mum. I've been up since 5.30 this morning. 5.30? Don't say. Oh, it's almost nine. 
goodness. Josette. Josette, darling. Come sit with me. Let's chat. Yes, Mom. But only for a moment. Creepy catches me. I could be dismissed. But to tell you the truth, my bunions were killing me. Aha. Uh, -huh. uh Josette. How long have you been working here? I have been working here since I was 14 years old. Uncle Charles he took me from an orphanage in England, brought me here to live. He was a great fellow, you know. Mm. Well, I, I actually don't know. Um, Josette, would you mind telling me some things about Uncle Charles? What kind of person was he like? Oh, he's quite a gentleman. Snappy dresser. Oh. And he would just make me laugh. Oh, but the corny jokes, that's what I miss the most. <laughs> My goodness. He certainly sounds like a very interesting person. Oh, but Mum, can you keep a secret? Um, no, not really. Hmm. But, uh, please, go ahead and tell me anything you want. I mean, we are women, after all. We need something to talk about on an hourly basis. <laughs> At least I do. <laughs> True. <laughs> well, you <clears throat> see, your Uncle Charles and his brother Alfie's ghost, right? they haunt this very mansion. You're not serious. I mean, <sighs> really? Really, Josette? Ghosts? Well, Mum, I didn't believe that you would believe me, mm. but it's true. You'll see. I must get back to work, though. Very well, Josette. We'll have a chat later. Ghosts. Ooh, oh, I'm, I'm so scared. I. Wait. She, she said ghosts. Uncle Charles? Uncle Alfie? Uncle Alfie? Uncle Charles, are you here? Uncle Charles? Uncle Alfie? They're not here. They're not here. I feel like I'm wasting my time. <sighs> Uncle Charles! Uncle Alfie! Are you... Are you even here? Excuse me, Mom. Oh. Are you calling your Uncle Charles and Uncle Alfie? Oh, um, I'm just... <laughs> You told me that they were here, so I thought if I called for them, they would probably come out of the mist in some way. I, I mean, you weren't joking with me when you told me they were here, were you? <laughs> no. I wasn't joking with you. I'm telling you, you keep trying. You'll see. All right. Keep trying. God bless you. Thank you. <sighs> Uncle Charles. Uncle Alfie. Uncle Ch- What am I doing? <sighs> Uncle Charles, indeed. Hello, Mom. Charles Bentley, at your service. It's... it's... it's you! That Uncle was, Charles! Well, I looked it was. Oh... Uh, Uncle Charles! Uh, 
Can we get past that, please? Yes. Oh, yes, uh, of course. Uh, I am your great niece, Brianna. Brianna Livingston. Well, you're a pretty little thing, you are. <laughs> Thank you. Would you like to meet your Uncle Alfie? Oh, would I? Of course. Poof! Uh, oh! Wow! You're a gorgeous young lady. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, whoa, whoa. Oh, Alfie. Okay. Calm down. This is your niece. It's, Why do the always good looking ones have to be related? It's, uh, in, in, indeed. Well, uh, gentlemen, it was just. Wonderful to meet you. It's very nice, very nice. Um, now um, you you know how it is when when women have to tell people things, and I, I really must be going. But you you, you stay here. You stay here. You, 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 just, you just stay right here. I'll, I'll, I'll be right back. Okay. <laughs> Ta-da! Uh, she's a quite uh, a jumpy little thing, isn't she now? Yes. Hmm. Good looking. Family. Watch your step. <laughs> <laughs>